are we getting lazier? Changes in body weight are governed by energy balance, calories in versus calories out. And generally speaking, as a global population, it is pretty universally accepted that calorie intake is creeping up over time. However, this is only one factor that contributes to changes in obesity rates. A less focused on factor is physical activity. Not necessarily exercise, most people understand that exercise is important. Fun fact, a paper in The Lancet looked at 358 surveys spanning 168 countries, including 1.9 million participants, and found that global prevalence of insufficient physical activity was at 27.5%. And we are off course to miss the 2025 physical activity target. Anyway, formal exercise aside, I'm actually talking about lifestyle changes. Non-exercise activity thermogenesis is the largest contributor to non-resting energy expenditure. In short, having an active lifestyle can burn a significantly higher number of calories than your typical workout bolted onto a sedentary lifestyle. If you take two people with the same body composition, someone with a highly active job can burn up to 2,000 calories more per day than someone with a sedentary job. And although this calorie burn is obviously hugely significant, a lot of people overlook it because it's not formal exercise. And unlike asking people how many workouts they do per week, it is extremely difficult to track changes in NEAT over time. So here is the egocentric versus geocentric model. These are basically fancy terms for shit you are in control of yourself and shit that's happening on a population level. Egocentric, your job, how you travel to your job, what you do in your leisure time. And geocentric, more cars, more public transport options, more elevators, more escalators, more food delivery apps, and manual labor jobs being replaced by robots. So let's dive into these using some non-traditional data sources and converge several lines of evidence. One study concluded that between 1969 and 2001, the percentage of youth walking to school plummeted from 40.7 to 12.9%. This was replaced by driving, which went from 17.1% right up to 55%. One study examining increased mechanization looked at dishwashers, washing machines, driving to work, and escalators, and concluded the energy-saving cost of these to be 111 calories per day. Another study of US school children found a decrease of 37% of outdoor activities in the time span of just six years. A study on nearly 52,000 people looked at total daily sitting time between 2007 and 2016. And sitting time increased from 7 to 8.2 hours per day in adolescence and 5.5 to 6.4 hours per day in adults. So we know that physical activity is important and increases in technology and mechanization allow us to perform basic tasks with less effort than ever. So given these trends in physical activity and the concomitant trends in obesity rates, the question is, where does this end?